Third-ranked UFC welterweight contender Leon Edwards has been unsuccessfully booked to face 15th-ranked Kamzad Shamayev on two different occasions. The first was due to Leon not being able to compete after catching the illness, and the second is where Kamzad caught the same illness and was unable to compete. Dana recently came out in an interview talking about this cursed welterweight matchup and said, Edwards won't be headlining the card. What we are doing is we're going to push that fight back. Is this the right move? Rebook the same matchup for the third time? I say we wash our hands clean of this matchup, which is best for Leon and Hamzat. Before we go any further, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We do a weekly podcast and talk about breaking news in the UFC and MMA. Leon Edwards last fought back in July 2019 on ESPN4, where he defeated Rafael Dos Anjos via unanimous decision. This marked the 8th win in a row for Leon Edwards, who was now primed to fight for the number 1 contender spot or the welterweight title. Enter Hamzat. Russian-born Swede who's taking the MMA world by storm, submitting his opponent in his UFC debut in the second round, then only 10 days later, finishes his opponent in 3 minutes 9 seconds via TKO, and then in his most recent bout, he one-punch KO'd his opponent in just 17 seconds. Detractors will note that none of these fighters were ranked at the time of the fight, which is true. Regardless of who the opponents are, the streak is very special and a difficult feat to accomplish. We have to put some respect on his name. Uh, let's get to the one I'm sure you're looking forward to talk to. Shemaev? I mean, what What do you even say about that? He's special. The guy is special. I've been in the fight business my whole life. I've never seen anything like it. And, um, you know, he wants to fight again. So now it's just a matter of, of uh, you know, how many times can we actually fight this guy by the end of the year? I mean, it's, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. And, and this kid is going to be a massive superstar. He seems to almost have uh, potentially that, that ability that Connor had earlier in his career where he gets in guys' heads. I mean, I thought Gerald was coming in very confident. He thought he was disrespected, but when the fight started, I thought, you know, he Shemaev just kind of took control over there immediately, and I thought that maybe that was him getting in the head of his well, opponent. He said to me, you know, you see me fight twice, you think I'm a wrestler. Yeah. Wait till you see my hands. That's what he was telling me, like, leading up to this fight. Mm -hmm. um, this kid is extremely confident. He knows what he can do. He knows what he's capable of. And, and more importantly, he goes in and he does it. He does exactly what he says he's going to do. 17 seconds, one punch knockout. Kid's special. He's different. In my, you know, however many years I've been doing this, I've never seen anything like him. This fight on paper doesn't make the most sense. You have a UFC veteran that has won eight fights in a row against a group of the best welterweights in the world versus a newcomer to the UFC that has only won three fights in a row against unranked fighters. On paper, it doesn't make sense, but this fight is after another kind of paper. The mere booking of a fight between Leon and Shemaev has blown fans away. The level of excitement is wild for this matchup. All that trash talk Leon has spoke needs to be addressed by Hamzat's fists. I, on the other hand, want Dana to listen very, very closely. Do not make this matchup. As much as this both intrigues and appeases the spectacle and hype side of me, I think this fight doesn't need to happen for either Leon or Hamzat. Why are we booking this fight after it's fallen through two times now? Is this a sign that it's just not meant to be and decide to move on for both fighters? I get that both fighters are essentially in the same position regardless of the two cancelled bouts. They are both still 3rd and 15th ranked fighters. They haven't fought since the first fight was booked, and the hype is still there. But there is an opportunity to learn from our mistakes in the past with pushing fighters too soon. There are consequences of booking this fight that UFC is not weighing less than the possible outcomes. Kamsat might win this fight and go on to fight for a title, generating enormous traffic. Or Leon can win and take the momentum that Kamsat has and maybe fight for the title next. What is lost if these fighters touch gloves in the octagon? UFC will send a message to the welterweights that rankings don't matter when making fights at the top of the division. Why is the third ranked fighter fighting someone at 15? What is the UFC telling Leon? The UFC is indicating that they are willing to put Leon's 8 fight win streak on the line for the chance that comes out the winning and growing into a star. Are other top welterweights like Wonderboy, Gilbert Burns or Kobe going to feel like they are walking on eggshells because they don't want to be cornered into a similar situation? What do you think about you know what what ended up happening with Leon in terms of you know he had you which is obviously a ranked opponent whereas now he's facing Hamzat who's an unranked opponent although I think he's just slotted in at number fifteen uh, I think just the other day so is he at fifteen I would need to double check how, that but I believe so how many fights does he have in the welterweight division I think only one 
These rankings, Stephen, you, you, know, you know how these rankings work. You I sure? know. Edwards is in and out. You just never know what's happening. You don't. You don't. That's what. That's what's so crazy about this division. Yeah, you're right, man. Rankings is just kind of a. It's kind of a non. It's becoming a non-existent thing. It's about the the exciting fights, and uh, I kind of called it. I was like, man, why are they pushing this Hamzat guy so hard? And then I was like, watch Khabib retire. And they kind of did the same thing with Till, you know, when when Bisbing retired. They needed somebody from that market to, to keep those fans in, you know, involved. And Till was it. Uh, I guess kind of, the, I guess the same thing with Hamzat. They mm -hmm. knew that Khabib was going to retire and they need somebody from that market. And there you go. You got this Hamzat guy who's been doing work. But I guess my point is that, uh, you know, Jeff Neal, I believe, and I will double check this, he's ranked number 11 right now. And, you, and that's the guy that you're facing. Whereas Leon Edwards, who's ranked yes. number three, he's facing a, a rank 15 guy. So you got to think that even though he's closer to the title, he didn't really get what he wanted in a sense. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? He did. Yeah. And I, I know the UFC was pushing really hard uh, for somebody in the top five to fight Hamzat. And I think that was just the UFC's chance to make pretty much make Edwards do it because he was kind of turning everybody down they and, they and they pulled him from the rankings so this is just kind of going through my head I'm not really sure the whole ins and outs but this is just kind of what I'm thinking you know if you want to be back on the top you know back your you want your ranking back you got to fight Hamza I might be looking too deep this just might be a one-off fight to see if a potential contender in Hamza is as real as he seems to be I think we can find out how good Hamza is without making a matchup with the third ranked welterweight in the world Hamzat is 26 years old. He debuted in July 2020, where he fought twice, and then once in September 2020. As of today, it has been nearly four months since Hamzat last fought. The first fight scheduled between Leon and Hamzat was for December 19th, but it fell through because Leon fell ill. The second fight was booked for January 20th, 2021, but fell through due to Hamzat falling ill. We'll get back to Hamzat being ill in a second, but I want to point something out. Because of this fight, Hamzat hasn't fought for nearly 4 months now, and Leon is now inactive for almost a year and a half. Now, let's get back to Hamzat pulling out of the January 20th fight. Rumors of this fight being cancelled was met with disbelief at first. No actual confirmation from the UFC, just sources stating that the fight was no longer going to happen. It was later revealed by Hamzat's manager that he had fallen ill and has not recovered in time. But wait, the fight was cancelled December 31st, that's 20 days before the fight. Add to the fact, Hamzat said he had fallen ill in November. He said in an interview on January 2nd, 2021, that he caught the illness over a month ago. That means that he was in such bad shape that he does not think nearly two months of recovery, which is from the time that he got sick to the January 20th card, would be enough to get back into the octagon. Fans in the organization want this matchup to happen ASAP, but I don't think it's fair to either of them if they just don't feel physically up to it. Leon was also in bad shape from the illness, but came out with a tweet saying, Rest up Kamzat, I'm sure I'll see you soon. But I want to fight January 20th on the island. Dana White, Sean Shelby, UFC, let's make it happen. Let's get Leon back in there and let Hamzat heal up to 100%. Hamzat should be in no rush to get a top 5 opponent or the title anytime soon. Let's give him a chance to progress and learn just like the other greats were given in the sport. He is very new to the game and the UFC. He will have many opportunities to develop and get to the title in the future. 
let's not force this fight to happen simply because it appeases us. If Khamzat loses, it's hard to regain the momentum that he has at the moment. And Leon, just let the man fight for the title already. If you liked the video, make sure you press the thumbs up. And if you want more, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and our podcast talking about the latest news and events in UFC and MMA. Follow our Instagram page and TikTok in the description below. What do you think? Should the fight happen? And when? Leave a comment below.